Hi, it's Lou from Christian Faith and Fiction. Today I'm going to be tier ranking all the Christian fiction books that I read last year by the amount of Christian faith content that was in them. So as I was reviewing and rating all of the books I read last year, I gave each one a Christian faith rating. This is something I like to do to indicate to people how much Christian faith content there is in a book. So we're going to go through all of the books I read last year. I'll tell you the story enjoyment rating that I gave, which is how much I enjoyed reading the book, and the Christian faith rating. And uh, there should be a graphic coming up on the screen right now. This is how I rate books by Christian faith. So three out of three would be clear Christian faith content that plays a central role in the story. Two out of three would be the characters are clearly Christian, or one of the characters at least, um, but faith isn't the main focus of the plot. One out of three means there would be a brief mention of something Christian, or the faith of the characters. A rating of zero would be a clean book, so nothing problematic in the content, but also no Christian faith content. Uh, a rating of minus one out of three is not clean, so something problematic in the content, some bad language or sex scenes, etc. A rating of minus two would be a book that encourages behaviours or promotes a view that is definitely not Christian. And a rating of minus three would be a book that is actively offensive or anti-Christian. So I'm going to begin with the lowest rating. So in minus one, which means there was a bit of problematic content, uh, The Socialite by Janelle Chisilski. I rated the book 6.5 out of 10 for story enjoyment and minus one for Christian faith content. Last year I didn't read any books that were listed as Christian fiction but were clean only. So books with a 1 out of 3 rating, low Christian content. Authentically Izzy by Peppa Basham, I gave 1 out of 3 for Christian faith content and 7 out of 10 for story enjoyment rating. Love Takes a Cake by Betsy St. Arment, I gave 1 out of 3 for Christian Faith rating and 7 out of 10 for Story Enjoyment. A Fool and His Money by Sandra Orchard. I gave 8 out of 10 for Story Enjoyment and 1 out of 3 for Christian Faith. The Perfect Arrangement by Katie Ganshert. I rated 9 out of 10 for Story Enjoyment and 1 out of 3 for Christian Faith. Beneath the Swirling Sky by Carolyn Leiloglu. I rated 8 out of 10 for story enjoyment and 1.5 out of 3 for Christian faith. And The Looking Glass Illusion by Sarah Ella, I gave 8 out of 10 for story enjoyment and 1.5 out of 3 for Christian faith. So books with a medium Christian content, that is a rating of 2 out of 3. All the Lost Places by Amanda Dykes, I gave 7 out of 10 for story enjoyment and 2 out of 3 for Christian faith. The Happy Camper by Melody Carlson, I gave 7 out of 10 for story enjoyment and 2 out of 3 for Christian faith. A Royal Christmas by Melody Carlson, I gave 7 out of 10 for story enjoyment and 2 out of 3 for Christian faith. The Silent Songbird by Melanie Dickerson, I rated 8 out of 10 for story enjoyment and 2 out of 3 for Christian faith. Death by Food Truck by Joy Copeland, Cynthia Hickey, Linda Baton Johnson, and Teresa Eves Lily, I rated the book 8 out of 10 for story enjoyment and 2 out of 3 for Christian faith. The Sisters of Sea View by Julie Classen, I rated 8 out of 10 for story enjoyment and 2 out of 3 for Christian faith. Point of Danger by Irene Hannon, I rated 8 out of 10 for story enjoyment and 2 out of 3 for Christian faith. The Peasant's Dream by Melanie Dickerson, I rated 8.5 out of 10 for story enjoyment and 2 out of 3 for Christian faith. Just Look Up by Courtney Walsh, I rated 8.5 out of 10 for story enjoyment and 2 out of 3 for Christian faith. Fortress of Snow by Melanie Dickerson, I rated 8.5 out of 10 for story enjoyment and 2 out of 3 for Christian faith. A Gilded Lady by Elizabeth Camden, I rated 8.5 out of 10 for story enjoyment and 2 out of 3 for Christian faith. All's Fair in Love and Christmas by Sarah Monzen, I rated 8.5 out of 10 for story enjoyment and 2 out of 3 for Christian faith. The Cairo Curse by Peppa Basham, I rated 9 out of 10 for story enjoyment and 2 out of 3 for Christian faith. 
The Metropolitan Affair by Jocelyn Green. I rated 9 out of 10 for story enjoyment and 2 out of 3 for Christian faith. The Wonderland Trials by Sarah Ella, which is a reread for me. I rated 9.5 out of 10 for story enjoyment and 2 out of 3 for Christian faith. The Prince of Spies by Elizabeth Camden. I rated 10 out of 10 for story enjoyment and 2 out of 3 for Christian faith. North or Be Eaten by Andrew Peterson. I rated 10 out of 10 for story enjoyment and 2 out of 3 for Christian faith. The Words We Lost by Nicole Deese. I rated 10 out of 10 for story enjoyment and 2 out of 3 for Christian faith. Better Watch Out by Natalie Walters. I rated 10 out of 10 for story enjoyment and 2 out of 3 for Christian faith. The Love Script by Tony Shiloh. I rated 6 out of 10 for story enjoyment and 3 out of 3 minus 1 for Christian faith because there was just one problematic mention of something in there. Otherwise, the rest of it was very strong faith. Christmas at Canton by Tamara Alexander. I rated 8 out of 10 for story enjoyment and 2.5 out of 3 for Christian faith. And so on to the books that had the highest Christian faith content. That is a rating of 3 out of 3. Can't Help Falling by Cara Isaac. I rated 7 out of 10 for story enjoyment and 3 out of 3 for Christian faith content. All the rest of these are going to be 3 out of 3. The Orphan's Wish by Melanie Dickerson. I gave 7 out of 10 for story enjoyment. The Hunter and the Valley of Death by Brennan S. McPherson. I gave 7 out of 10 for story enjoyment. You Make It Feel Like Christmas by Tony Shiloh. I gave 7 out of 10 for story enjoyment. Love at Mistletoe Inn by Cindy Kirk. I gave 8 out of 10 for story enjoyment. To Win a Prince by Tony Shiloh, I gave 8.5 out of 10 for story enjoyment. The Mistletoe Countess by Pepper Basham, I rated 8.75 out of 10 for story enjoyment. The Architect by Jonathan Sturrett, I rated 9 out of 10. Love in the Details by Becky Wade, I rated 9 out of 10 for story enjoyment. Fairest of Heart by Karen Wittemeyer, I rated 9 out of 10 for story enjoyment. Dream of Kings by Sharon Hink, I rated 9 out of 10. All That Really Matters by Nicole Deese, I rated 9 out of 10. The Story Peddler by Lindsay A. Franklin, I rated 9 out of 10. Finding Lady Enderly by Joanna Davidson Politano, I rated 9 out of 10. Counted with the Stars by Connie Lynn Cassette, I rated 9 out of 10. Codename Edelweiss by Stephanie Lanson, I rated 9 out of 10. A Texas Christmas Carol by Karen Wittemeyer, I rated 9 out of 10. The Golden Braid by Melanie Dickerson, I rated 9.5 out of 10. And finally, Set the Stars Alight by Amanda Dykes, I rated 10 out of 10 for story enjoyment and 3 out of 3 for Christian faith rating. So I hope that was helpful to you. I will list the books down below with the categories that they were in and I'll also put a link to the playlist of my book reviews if you want to see some more about the actual books themselves but maybe if you're looking for something with a higher content one of those books that I've mentioned might be something to look at. I would really love it if you want to join me in putting a rating out there for the amount of content there is in the books that you read. I would be really interested to read that in your reviews and I'm sure other people would as well. Okay, I pray that you have a really great week and until next time, bye!